I think there are a lot of people thinking, okay, um, you don't understand Bank of New York Mellon if you think that Facebook is trying to be Bank of New York Mellon because you don't understand the repo markets and you don't understand how basically these banks are uh, constantly taking loans like for a day um, the, and, and they're backing them with um, stocks and stuff like that. Uh, and the, the, so they're assuming these stocks are worth how much they're worth. Um, and, and okay, by the way, I, I saw that the government intervene with the repo market back in September, which tells me you guys are that into protecting our stock market. And I don't know what that does, but I don't think it changes the underlying issue which is that Amazon got so big so fast, and one of the reasons they're so big is because of speculation, which is based on them using their cash to buy everything. All right, because, because they did. They bought so much stuff, and, and they expanded into so many different types of businesses. And every time they expand, it's like a massive spending project. But they're also doing a massive spinning project where they're against competition that doesn't have the kind of money they have. So it's like unfair for competition. And what's the point in stopping monopolies when you're afraid of someone that's unfair for competition? But the real problem is um, speculation and how it affects short-term lending. But... The th okay, my, my question is, what's wrong with the blockchain algorithm for transactions? Because it actually works pretty well, um, except it's kind of slow, but it's relatively fast. And like, do we need Bank of New York Mellon? And I, I think we do. I think it's like critical that we have Bank of New York Mellon. I mean, I think it's so important. And do we have apps that allow you to send dollars? What, what's the point of going to another currency? Um, is, is it because everyone's excited about the fact that there will be a shortage? And the reason that we all need the Fed to be able to get involved when they start looking at the repo market and going, uh-oh, um, is because like liquidity is, is critical. And the, this whole notion that um, we want to remove that power from the Fed, give it to Facebook – and then have no, like, I guess they could have add liquidity because they, they would have to code it through what, would that be a hard fork or a soft fork? Probably a hard fork. They could add liquidity. And, and, but then that would add liquidity to everyone because the moment they add something to the code, the miners in, uh, in other parts of the world would be able to mine our money so I'm just saying like, as far as ability for Facebook to respond to issues like the Federal Reserve responds, um, that's, that's scary because are they the repo market? They could become the repo market. Obviously they're not, but they would, it's like they are, they would be a clearinghouse though. I don't know. I feel like I, I don't, I honestly don't know the, re, know about the repo market enough. But um, what I do know about is um, very, very massive companies causing problems in the banking industry for everyone um, because like when you take down Amazon, which we do need to take down Amazon, it needs, like we all need to agree Amazon has to go because they can't, they can't behave like that. And it's the same thing with Facebook. Facebook can't do that. And, and it's the same thing with like, I won't pick a single person to be in my administration that's Jewish. It's not a diss on Jewish people. It doesn't mean that I won't do business with Jewish people. It doesn't mean that I, I won't get get along with them. It's just saying um, right now when I look at look around, I'm like, how'd you guys do that? You took over every powerful position, and then you're you are literally overthrowing our democracy. And then everyone is sitting around going, "This is okay. This is okay that um, they're they're fudging the votes in Iowa." No problem. No problem. 
because we trust them. And it's like, okay, I don't think you guys are trustworthy. All right, so we need to do this. I'm not gonna explain it. I've done it before, we should do it. At least two of them, maybe four.